Hello everybody, welcome back to Two New Heights and today we're doing a gear review. And today we are reviewing the North Face Shadow 30 plus 10. Let's get into it. for um, about two and a half years now actually and I've used it a ton. It was my first climbing specific bag um, and I used it a whole lot when I first got it. Uh, I don't use it as much now just because I have other backpacks but it's still something that I do like to use and I, and I use it as often as I can. First of all let's talk about how much this pack costs. So I think at the time I bought it, it was like 160 and I was just looking online and I could not find it for sale anywhere. Um, I found it on several websites but all of them were sold out which is a little confusing to me. And yeah, as I said, it's only $150, so not that um, expensive for a climbing backpack um, compared to some other ones. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the features of the Shadow. Um, as far as like the outside, there's not too much going on. We've got some loops here at the bottom for an ice axe, I would assume. I've never seen loops in this style for an ice axe. I don't do any like alpine climbing yet, so I wouldn't know how well these work with an ice axe, but these are presumed ice axe loops, and as you can see, the side straps here, I'm sure you could lash pretty much anything to the side, trekking poles, ice axe, whatever you want. The back side here, I really, really like the back panel here. It's not the most breathable, uh, material used for it but it's very comfortable and then you can see kind of the design is does help with airflow even though it's not the best but otherwise very comfortable to carry um, it's got a good lumbar pad here a little bit more uh, pronounced than the rest of it um, the hip strap right here is removable so you can hear velcro in there I've never needed to remove it I kind of like having a hip strap but now that I'm not really using it for um, outdoor climbing when you're gonna go hiking for a long time to just to get to the climb. I don't find myself using these as much. The sternum strap is pretty simple, you know, just the sternum strap. It does have a whistle on it and it is adjustable up and down this little track right here. I do like seeing those features in a pack just because, you know, sometimes you want it down here and up here. Uh, and it's good to have a feature for it. This pack is hydration compatible. It has a port right here for your hose um, on just the one side and then it's got a little loop to store it right there. So I got this in the large slash extra large and I am 6'1". I was a lot shorter obviously at the time I got this um, and it, it was a little big at first but right now it fits me perfectly. I've never had to adjust the straps too much to fit um, my height but otherwise the fit is super good on my 6'1". Uh, obviously you've got the classic loop at the top here to pick it up by, you know, hanging it from a carabiner. Last thing I want to say about the outside is I really, really like the uh, way they kind of designed this. As you can see, there's uh, this cool like triangle pattern all over the pack here and then the neon yellow greenish. Uh, line goes all the way down and then around out here. So the color scheme and kind of like aesthetic design of this pack is really, really good. I really like it. Okay, so now since we're done with the outside, we can open up the top and this is probably my biggest complaint of the entire pack is accessibility. I really don't like this opening system. I feel like it would have just been so much easier to make a zipper. So what you have to do, you have, you have the strap across the top, open that, and then you have the roll top. You have to unroll that, and then you have a drawstring, and then you have to open that and then pull the pack open. And the problem with that is like, if you want access to something quick inside here, it takes, you know, 30 seconds to open up everything and that's just kind of, you know, annoying after a while. Uh, also up here, there is a little external pocket and it's not got a ton of space inside it, uh, but it's enough for, you know, I uh, got some sunglasses, roll of tape and a gym membership pass. Uh, you can put some snacks in there or whatnot, but 
otherwise not too much space. Uh, one other thing about all the zippers on this pack, I really like them. They're super smooth and easy to open. Uh, you can see here. One of the coolest features of this pack is that it comes with this little like waterproof zipper bag. It has these buttons and it clips to the inside of the pack. Into the meat of the pack, uh, we really get into here why it's called the 30 plus 10. So with everything rolled up on the roll top, it's about 30 liters. But as soon as you expand it, it becomes 40 liters. You can do just the drawstring hood of the pack and expand your pack about 10 liters. So in terms of how much this pack can hold, that's actually quite a lot. If you've seen my climbing gym gear video, you'll know this pack can hold quite a bit and that's kind of what I've loaded it with right now is stuff I would bring to the gym on an average day because that's what I use this pack for the most. So there's like a lot of stuff that you can actually fit in this pack. You can see here now that my table is completely full and the pack is empty. So that is one thing I really like about this pack is like the amount of stuff it can hold. Um, because on the outside it really doesn't look like a big pack on the inside, but you can see it right here. I got a bunch of crap here that I just carried. So that actually pretty much wraps up this review. Um, I already told you what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, obviously with the roll top, didn't like that. Love the color scheme and the aesthetic feel of the bag, the fit. Um, overall, out of 10, I'd probably give this like a six or seven. Um, just because of the ticks on the accessibility. Otherwise, this is a really good pack and I really love it. It's a great budget first entry climbing pack. So yeah, seven out of 10 for the North Face Shadow 30 plus 10. If you want to go check out this pack, I really don't know how you're gonna find um, a seller for it right now because I've looked on the North Face RII everywhere and they're all like sold out, which is interesting. So if you're interested in a pretty basic climbing pack um, with a pretty good volume, I would recommend maybe buying this. And if you have any questions in the comments about you know features of this pack and my experience with it, leave them in the comments below because I'd be happy to answer them. And if you did like this video, please do like um, the video and consider subscribing. It really does help us and we love seeing people subscribe when, we, when they watch gear review videos because they want more. So, with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time on Two New Heights.